Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with a new look uh, with a new palette that I've been playing with. And so I thought it was a lot of fun and that I'd go ahead and show you what I've done. And to go ahead and get started, uh, let's see. I did go ahead and start with the Superstay C+. Plus. I did go ahead and mix in the Milani Bronzing Drops in shade 110, and also the ColourPop, um, and this is the Liquid Light. So I went ahead and mixed all these to go ahead and get my base here. And then um, I didn't actually use any concealer today. I did use some of the ColourPop um, this is the shade and thanks and so this is what I started with to go ahead and do the uh, cheek look today excuse me um, I did add in a little bit of the joy bright and this is a packet that I got over at Ulta and I actually went ahead and used this color on there as well so I have a little bit of the joy bright color on there and um, yeah I just sort of, um, I've had this look on for a little while, so I did go ahead and uh, do a little bit, um, a little bit of a touch-up before I got on to film today. So I did add a little bit of this one, and this one is the NYX Butter Melt, and this one is Getting Butter. So I have a little bit of that on as well. I think I'll go ahead and add in a little bit more of that. Um, let's see what I got here. I have one of these real technique brushes. I'll just go ahead and add in a little bit more like that. So yeah, these um, the buttermilk blushes just have so much pigment to them, and they really stay on. And yeah. And they'll probably be one of my favorites of the year just because you get a whole bunch of color payoffs so you have a whole bunch of pigment it blends out really well and it stays on um i've had this look on all day so i've had it on for at least eight hours and i'm just now having to touch up a little bit so that's a good blush and then i did go ahead and use some Mora, and this is the blush in daylight or the, pardon me, the highlighter in daylight. So we'll go ahead and do a little bit more of this. And um, okay, so uh, there we go with some of the buttermilk blush and some of the Moira in daylight. So went ahead and added in a little bit more of that. And um, again, I put on a little bit more of the after hours as well. As far as what I did for the lip look today, I did go ahead and use a Go-Go by ColourPop. And then I did uh, pick up this set, which is over at Walgreens. It's by Profusion. And I went ahead and used the middle shade. And this is a really nice set. Um, this is actually by Profusion and um, really cute lip set. And it would be really fun if you wanted to go ahead and split up the set. This is matte. This is going to be a glitter formula. Matte, glitter, matte, glitter. So you could give two to one person, two to another person, two to another person, and have one left for yourself. So, um, yeah, this is a really good one. It's over at Walgreens. Sometimes Profusion doesn't do a lot during the holidays, but once in a while they get a really good project going, and the Peanuts Times Profusion this holiday set is a really good one. So definitely something I would go ahead and recommend. As far as what I did for the eyes, and that's um, again with a newer palette, and those Black Friday sales have already started. So I really like uh, Inslee Rain because they give you the really pretty collector boxes, which I think this one is beautiful. And then I got the Flutter palette, and like I said, I I just got this. It's on sale right now over at Inslee Rain. They started their Black Friday sale a little bit early. So I went ahead and picked up this, and 
uh, really pretty. Um, this golden hour, I think, is actually a holographic shade. I have that on the lid. Um, I went ahead and put the blue shade on the outer corner. And then I did go ahead and use this shade as well, which comes out to be sort of a brown, brown, purple, blue kind of duochrome. And I went ahead and put that right uh, from here to here, so on the inner corner from here to here. I think the whole look turned out really pretty. I also used an Amride eyeliner as well, and this is one in light blue. And then this way that the look turned out. So again, just a really pretty multi-chrome formula. And like I said, I think this one shade, the golden hour shade here is actually a holographic shade because it has all the different colors of glitter or glitter that looks like a whole bunch of different colors um, depending on how the light hits it. So it's really, really pretty. And I'm really happy with this palette. A lot of times within so Inslee Rain, they do bigger palettes. Um, if you want to try the formula, this one's on sale. They also have Flourish on sale as well. And uh, to try the formula, I would definitely get one of these palettes, see if you like it, and if you want to go ahead and try more from. Um, but the quality is beautiful. The multichromes are great. The holographic shades, I mean, it's hard to find those in the first place, but finding them, you know, when they really are integral to palette is a really good thing. Um, everything blends really well, and the color story is just really pretty. So, yeah, I was really happy that I went ahead and got this palette. And so, packaging... Um, you have to buy on the Inslee Rain website, so they go ahead and ship them out. But like I said, they give you the, um, they package everything really, really securely. So it's really nice uh, to go ahead and get a package from them. And um, let's see, other than that, I think I used some of the Catrice Sungasm powder as an offer all finishing powder. And, um, oh. Nice. So I did go ahead and use the Essence Make Me Brow and Dark Brown. And then I did go ahead and use the Lash Without Limits today as far as my mascara. And I think that's basically everything that I did. But like I said, uh, this eye look is so... It's, yeah, it just has, it's shimmery and it's reflective and with all the multi-chromes and all the shiftiness, that's a word I'm looking for, shiftiness, it's just so much fun. And so I've really been loving, every time I've caught a picture, or caught a view of myself in the mirror, I'm like, that's pretty, that's really pretty. I know what I forget. Okay, so I did go ahead and use a Revolution Bronzer. This one is in Holiday Romance. So this is uh, what I have on as far as bronzer. And that's what I forgot to tell you about. Uh, that's the whole video. Like I said, I was just thinking this look was so much fun that I wanted to get it on film. And um, it's all the multichromes and the um, holographic shade. There isn't a matte on this look. It's all, it's all shimmer and glimmer. Um, so that's a video, and I hope that you have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.